Hello folks, and welcome back to the Vertigo Tea Party and Let's Play Firewatch. Today's episode is brought to you by Asker. Thank you very much, Asker, for your continued support on Patreon. Very much appreciate hey, Henry? it. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? We've been love Burt Reynolds. That we have a similar musk. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. <laughs> and if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. <laughs> mm, buckle, barn. buckle Barn? Just one of those <laughs> brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Well, a pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. <laughs> Fine. Your eyes, tell me. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Yeah, she hot for me, but lady, come on, I'm married. I mean, yeah, she's in another country and she's got dementia, but still technically married. As far as I know. So here's our next letter. May the 3rd, 1989. I think today is going to be normal. Although Delilah is having a hell of a time getting the communications we are fixed. Those girls did a real bang up job fucking us over. A few days before I left, I got a call from Jules's dad. Realized I hadn't talked to him over the past few years as much as I thought. I think I was so worried about getting Madeline on the phone whenever I would, whenever I would call that I just stopped calling altogether. I guess that's the sort of thing writing all this stuff down is supposed to make me realize. Anyway, Mick just wanted to see how I was doing and wanted to have me out and I appreciated it because he got that ain't no worries bloke attitude, but it doesn't feel right. I bet Madeline's been hard on him. God damn. Here's something else I realized. Jules liked my parents. She liked them both, but that didn't stop her from laying into me with you're acting like your father. And I realize now that I love the parts of her that she got from Mick and the parts of her that she got from Madeline scared the living shit out of me, except for the whole looks department. No denying she lucked out there. Yeah, probably don't want her you know, looking like her dad, generally speaking. I'm trying to get this right close enough. But, uh, all right. I think we just need to go get a log or something. Wait, what does that say? Something of Wyoming? Keep, I saw it last time, too. Oh, well, screw it. I missed it. Uh, uh, uh. Death strikes it to oh birds of Wyoming. Wow, as as super interesting as that book sounds, we are actually just gonna go get wood downstairs. That sounded even funnier than I intended it to. Let's grab the thing. Oh, now slide on under. Fantastic job. Every time he does that, it feels like he's gonna fly over the edge. Oh, here we go. Got a couple get a couple more boards. Good thing these boards just show up just in case we need to fix a fence oh damn oh oh cinder block shit yeah like a man pump this thing mm. 
Throw it in the air. Catch it with your face. Like a man. Nothing like living out in the wilderness. No electronics around except for the electronics that we have on us. Eating grubs and berries, fighting bears, turns us into men. Take this. We need to get even more. We might need the cinder block for protection against bears and teenage drunk girls. Ah, yeah, all the water we can drink. Nature. Nature provides. It's just sometimes you gotta wring it out of nature's cold, dead grip. Dying grip. Ooh, let's get another one. We're gonna board it up real good, like. Yeah, I gotta say, like, a job like this, like, a lot of people would just hate because it's so lonely. And you're out by yourself. Like, oh, man. It'd be great. No other humans around except these damn girls we can't get rid of. Didn't think that would be a problem, but... Life is full of surprises. We don't even need nails. Look at this. I don't give a damn. We're a man. Slam your hammer onto it harder. You don't need no fucking nails. And yes, we do see that he's still got the wedding ring on. I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task, and, uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. You know, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, yeah, you do that. Okay, <laughs> now I'm ready. Let's get to work. How are those precious few seconds of jobless freedom? Oh, magical. Hey, you didn't grab Good. the thing. Now get to work. No. Oh, well. I'm really flying now. All right. Obviously, we're not going to stop the video here. Now it's going to be Henry. chaos. A nice afternoon. I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. You're pregnant? Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. Ah, shit. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Oh, what? You're just gonna... Okay, I was gonna say, you don't leave your plate out. This game is advancing quickly now. Also, like, how does food Henry. work? Henry, well, I mean... Up. I mean, I know how food works. Anyway. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. I can find it. I don't have it on my person. Um. By the way, I like how you can keep confiscating the drugs. <laughs> hey, it's Tart Reynolds! Hey, buddy! You're my friend. I love you. <laughs> Alright, back in the box. I hope I put you in the box. Alright, here we go. Oh, there it is. What do you want? You big dumb idiot. He's drunk. You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby. You sound tired. Mm, I am. Wait, what? 
Are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Wait, Julia's his wife, oh, that's right? that's too bad. Mm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Yeah, so we are going crazy as well. Maybe we're the ones. Maybe we're the ones who uh, have dementia. Maybe that's the twist. And we're in our own private Idaho. Well, own private Is it Wyoming. too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and... I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, oh. jerky. Jerky! You know my sister eats six prunes a day. Oh. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> I don't think she needs it. This damn fence again. So, like, two weeks ago you called me in the middle of the night? Uh. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. Whoa, hey! We dated for almost five years. TMI. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um... Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over 10 years. Oh, wow. And, uh... For some reason, I wanted you to know. <sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Damn. That's harsh. Especially if somebody ever ran into him later. It's like, yo, hey, you, you uh, cheated on my friends. Like, wait, what are you talking about? You fucked her neighbor. What? No, I didn't. Are oh, you lying scumbag? I get why she did it, because the chances of somebody actually running into him are pretty slim, probably. Ooh. Do we still have the camera? We do not. What are we doing, anyway? I actually completely forgot. Hike north. Uh, well, like, how many supplies are we getting here? We're kind of vague with what all we were going to grab. Oh, right. It's this thing. Last time it was completely empty. Hey! And now it's not. Food for the other lookout. Oh, right, right. I'm not supposed to. Probably shouldn't grab the other people's stuff. Two forks. I want my stuff. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? <laughs> I almost did, because I wasn't thinking. I was thinking I was getting it for her. 
Because she said it was being hand delivered and stuff. But then I realized, oh, that means somebody else takes it to her. Oh You've shit. got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? So, no ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. <laughs> oh, now it actually does say the Flapjack Fire when we have our over So there's it. this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? Guinea dipping, apparently? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. Uh, whoa, easy. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. I'm a little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new, good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Oh, it actually does say that now. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um... You know... What? Are you gonna have walkie-talkie sex? Well, let me tell you. Oh, wow. That was like the first, uh... Well, I guess they had phone sex before that. They had phones. That went a little, uh... You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. But it's funny is they're not really that far away. I mean, they probably kind of are. Like, maybe? But I still feel like they could actually, like, get together. Not like that, but at least... Like, meet up. Obviously still morally very questionable. I wouldn't even say questionable, just flat out wrong, because he is still technically married. But it would be this, then. Hi. Damn it, stop flipping shit around. What the... Uh, D? I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh... There's... 
something strange going on. At the lake? Whoa. Whoa. Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. You know, it's funny, I was just thinking that, too. Wait, hold on, something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, God. I don't know why I just called you that. Hmm. Yeah, because, like, I was think. Anyway, I was thinking that it, what if somebody was on the same frequency as us and could hear what we were saying? I'm kind of... I'm trying to try to see what all it is. Feelings for two hours, maybe just drunk. Two forts and JL, I think that's where she's at. Fire routes. All right, anyway, sorry. I was just trying to kind of piece together. What they were saying. Yeah, it sounds like another radio. Oh, God damn it! there it is. Wow, Jesus, I walked over this thing. I, I cut some of that out. It took me way longer than it should have to find that. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shithouse. Well... Get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. We'll do. Oh, hey. Ow. How? Where was he even possibly hiding? Henry, are you there? What happened, Henry? I. Holy hell! I just I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of oh, our sorry. conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw? But what you saw, Henry, maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. No, God damn it, I hate having to put the this map just, away. Oh, this just seems like a, like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes. Which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. That's what she said. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. So is that red mark me there? 
because yeah, we're at Jonesy Lake. So yeah, if we hop around to the north side, yeah, so basically where we just were. Cash 305, all right. Yeah, things are definitely getting very interesting. I gotta say, I like this game a lot. Like, you know, people the whole derogatory her her walking simulator. And it pretty much is, there's no real gameplay to this. But I don't really consider that necessarily a bad thing. Wait a minute, this wasn't here before. Oh yes it was, because there's the... The thing. See, like this, like, what the hell is this shit? Like, at first I was like, oh, maybe it's supposed to be snow. But no, like, there's something wrong. There's really something wrong going on here. Like, seriously. Okay, that's not us, because we've moved since then. Wait, did we cross over, like, a little creek? Oh, no, this is the little creek. Damn it. It looks like it wants us to go... Oh, okay, we can actually either go all the way around. We can hit Cash 305. Let's do that. Let's hit Cash 305. Just for the hell of it. Obviously, these... Whatever this is, is supposed to be some kind of, like, uh... Well, actually, maybe we can't get over there. Fair enough. I keep... Again, I keep turning a flashlight on somehow. I don't know how. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking this game a lot. Like, I like the dialogue. Again, I wasn't expecting this weird angle that's going on right now. Like, these people listening in on us. Again, I figured he was gonna come out here and deal with the, you know, issues he's having with, like, leaving, feeling like he abandoned his wife, and, and then I complicated even more by the fact that now he obviously has feelings for Delilah, which is not surprising at all, given the situation. Like, they both get along well, they're both out here by themselves, like, yeah, she's probably talking to other people, but he's just talking to her. And it sounds like she doesn't get along well with a lot of those other people. These guys got a lot of good chemistry going on. So it's it's understandable. See why that would happen. That actually is fairly normal. Like, that's one thing my dad did teach me when I was out there was that, like, people would put rock, pile rocks on themselves to, like, kind of show you where trails were, things like that. Like, I don't know if there was more to it, but it was kind of a way to let you know that you're on the trail in case you get lost or whatnot. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is Climb it? Climb it. Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on Yeah, how would she not know about this, Whatever by the way? Is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. See, that's, that's another big thing, and I meant to mention this before. How in the hell, if this, like, if, if the stuff that's happening is actually happening, aka not just some kind of crazy fever dream in his fucking head, then how is it that she doesn't know about this fence? Either she saw it herself, or somebody else reported it in in this section, like previously. It looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Yeah! Okay. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. <sighs> Shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Heh. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. What are you, what are you saying? The type of guys who would let you through that fence? Like scoundrels? Scallywags? Uh, where is this? Holy shit, wait, did she say Ruby River? There's the campfire thing. Look for control burn south of Ruby River. Holy shit. Looks like I got a hell of a hike ahead of me. If we're gonna even hike that, I feel like something's gonna happen. That's a long ways. But we better get to it. There'll probably be a lot of dialogue. They'll probably uh, have a lot of back and forth going on. See? Ah, see, it's good we have all these scopes. I don't know if I put this one here before and I didn't use it. Who knows? We could have been here a dozen times. I don't even know. Nope. 
Come here, you go. But yeah, now I'm like in my head trying to think about okay, what the hell is going on? Like, the, the, like I say, the big thing to me is the fence. Like her not knowing about the fence. Like, what would be like? That seems crazy to me that she would not have have known about it. All right, so we're back at the lake. Which seems... maybe not the greatest idea. Okay, yeah, because it looks like we're gonna go back, basically back the way we came. Uh, then we... no, we cannot... we do not want to go south there. Wherever that is. Alright. Ah, shit. There we go. I to keep the compass out, though. Yeah, ironically, we don't want to go too south, because this looks like there's a path that branches off south, but it's cut off by the mountains, so we don't want to go that way. Man, I am terrible in navigation. This is why the uh, invention of the GPS and shit has been a godsend to me. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I think this is that path down. Oh, go! Oh, wow, it is really far away. Because I don't. I feel like I can't go down this way. If that's what I think it is, I think we have to keep going further east. If that's where I think we are. Because if it is, there should be another... Yes, there's another rope. Okay, so that's what that icon means. That icon... I'm just kind of saying this for myself, too. Like that... Okay, yeah, it looks like a tree with a little rope tied to it. So we do not want to go that way. As far as I can tell. We want to go... Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No... Nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Spit it out. Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Yeah. Harry. It's just a thought. Well, how else would they... I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Oh, of course. Like, how else would they know the stuff that we were saying? I mean, I guess, you know, we've never seen her. We've never even seen sign of her, so there could be some kind of weird thing, experiment shit they're doing. I don't know what's doing. going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Well, he had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? No, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. 
Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Wait, that popped up again. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Literally. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not no, even wasn't. in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Yeah, I actually talked to my dad when I went up to visit him last time about the whole controlled burns thing, because they were having, like, fire issues again uh, when I went up there, I think. Which is fairly common for that area. Uh, that these forest fires and shit get completely out of control. But anyway, uh, he was saying, like, I asked him about the control burn thing. I was like, oh, would they not do that anymore? He just kind of laughed. He's like, yeah, he's like, the problem with those controlled burns is that they tend to not stay controlled very long, and then they just end up with a full-scale forest fire. I don't know how true that is. I mean, I don't, I'm inclined not saying that my own dad's lying about it, but... You know how it is, you know, you get information secondhand and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, I just found that amusing that he was saying that, uh, like, yeah, you know, they, <laughs> yeah, the idea is there, right? You can burn like certain area. I mean, I'm definitely not an expert, but my understanding is you burn certain areas that are like vulnerable or like that might, like if it caught on fire, it could spread to huge areas. So if you burn, like burn out a certain section of it, if a fire does start, it can't pass that point because it's already burned. Get what I'm saying? I guess that's how that works. I knew this would be something here. Uh, you don't want to call this in, or my map was updated though. I've got to be. I didn't cross the river yet, did I? Or did I? No, okay, yeah. There's the medicine wheel. Cash trio eight. It want to be update. All right, whatever. It's funny we can't phone this in for any, any reason. All right, whatever. The ski in particular seems a bit uh, a bit odd here. Anything by the bottom of the tree? No, nothing. All right. We'll continue. Looks like we need to go this way. I need to look that up now. I'm actually curious about like the success rate of uh, controlled burns. But if they really did stop them, like he said, then I'm gonna guess probably weren't all that successful because they still have issues with, uh, like I say, those fires getting going and burning and raging out of control. Oh, that's awesome. I do like the, the way they do the, the clues and stuff for you to talk. Wait, this is a medicine wheel or is this something different? What the hell is this? That wreck snowmobile, nice. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, pork Pond. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den. Or, <laughs> you know, anywhere. <laughs> Do you have like a dozen of those signs stashed away? I feel like she does. Uh, medicine wheel, pork pond. They're not over there. Okay, it's gotta be there. That's gotta be where we are. Even though I keep saying map updated, but there's not any update. Maybe there's something to do with my UI bug thing. So it looks like we just go east at this point, right? Oops, damn it. Pretty much. All right. When I put away the map, that doesn't mean I wanna put away the compass, damn it. Anyway, let's go to Pork Pond, or I mean, we're leaving Pork Pond. That definitely sounds like an 80s name for, like, some kind of Porky-style movie. They would call it Pork Pond. That's where all the kids go to get laid. Camp? What? There's a camp here? Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. 
All right, I was in the Boy Scouts. Let's not push it. Like, 95% of Boy Scout shit was, like, survival camping shit. There wasn't... Like, I don't really support the Boy Scouts now, but let's let's not pretend that this was, like, some kind of brainwash camp. It was, again, it was mostly survival and merit badges and shit like that, not brainwashing. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. I like when it nonchalantly kind of tells you what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I am going to walk the high ground to find the way across. <clears throat> Where'd that smoke go? Oh, oh, whoa, we're going away from it now. And we can't cross here. Ah, here we go. There's something going on with this. Three? Hmm, it looks like if we could <laughs> chop the tree down, we could get in from the other way. I think we're supposed to go this way. Maybe, maybe, ah, uh, maybe here. There's some high ground. I didn't have the white markings on it. Or at least I didn't see them. There we go. The obvious highest ground around. It's like, nope, that's not it. Obviously not. I need to keep looking. You want to call in the totem pole? It just seems weird. Like, some of the stuff you can call in is just so weird and random and unimportant. But some of it seems interesting and you're like, nah, I'm good. You ever talked to any of the scouts? Mm, no, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weebelow or whatever? Huh? I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Hmm. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weeblo do it. Ha. <laughs> so, that is either and or both the Bloodborne symbol from the, uh, the old hunter symbol, or it is from, uh, Berserk. Which, the symbol from... Bloodborne is taken from Berserk, so I'm assuming I'm gonna just take that as a, a little uh, Easter egg. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the Weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Yeah, I remember these types of shelters. Like when I uh, used, I was in the Scouts, as I mentioned. I remember going to the camp, and they had those kinds of like shelters or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hmm. Let's read it first. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. I'm going to read this so that it doesn't cut me off again. Squad boss Grant Carson, Wyoming Interagency Hotshot Crew, Paint Truck, Paint, Paint Rock, Ranger District, blah, blah, blah. Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station, Thoroughfare Region. Squad Boss Carson, in the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare region of Shoshone, Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti, State, Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildlife risk assessment in the region. Wildfire risk is each, whatever. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potentive, potent preventative measures in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away, but I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks as always for your service. Rich Lusosrensko. He's concerned about fire. Did it say anything of note? Uh... Next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. <laughs> There's a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I mean, 
mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? I'm gonna do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm out of here. Shit, yeah. Come at me again, bro. Knock me out. Sucker punch me like a little bitch. I mean, actually don't do those things, because then the axe won't really be that handy. But, if you come at me from the front, and assuming you also sort of have an axe or a firearm or some other weapon, you're gonna get it. Oh wait, can we brush through this now? Aha! Uh -huh. We found the item. See, there's gameplay. Again, you should have just used your hands like a man, but whatever. Alright, real quick, I want to check up here. I feel like this just loops around. But we'll check out. Or check it out. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Again, see? Options! You don't have to go through this path, you can go through the other path and end up in the same spot. I, which I'm okay with. Yes, I'm poking fun at it a little bit, but... But yeah, I, I must say I'm still really enjoying this game. Like, now... With this whole mystery going on, like, you know, is this really going? Like, again, parts of it definitely feel like it's in just in his head. Especially after that little episode. Oh, right. We can chop this tree down. How convenient. With that little episode he had where, you know, he was talking what he thought he was talking to his wife on the phone. But I don't know. I, I think it's interesting, too, the way that she put it. With the way she said, uh, off, like, studying multiple people in seclusion together. Like, uh, obviously, like, seclusion usually means not together. But in this case, you are secluded, but, so, you know what I mean. You can't physically see each other, but you're, you're communicating. Uh, I think that's very interesting. All right. So where are we going? Return, return to Rapiti Meadow. Oh, my God. I like how he cropped out, or crossed out Wapiti Meadow and put Station. Alright, well, let's get to it. This is gonna be a heck of a run. Again. Hey there. I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Right. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. What? The fuck? Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door, don't leave, and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Ah. Uh, I was thinking something was gonna happen. I don't- Ah, uh, shit, what day were we on before this? I kinda wanna just, like, keep playing now. Cause I don't wanna interrupt. <laughs> nice Fair hair. Tower. This is Two Forks, calling you for the... Oh, fiftieth huh? time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Yeah, let's just keep going.
I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Yeah, obvi obviously she's playing it up because she knows that we're being listened to. Or maybe they got to her or something? Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Don't be stupid. Great. Henry. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Mm hmm. Alright, yeah, we're gonna just keep going. I really should, like, you know, go with the whole suspense thing, but... Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. We like to wait till it gets really big, then do it. And that's a challenge. All right, tell you what, we're gonna keep going, but I need a quick restroom break. Be right back. All right, sorry about that. All right, Cottonwood. You're here. You know, if I play this game for another 30 to 40 hours, I might actually learn how everything's set out. Maybe. That's not true at all. We're gonna head south. Yeah, that's definitely not true. Because... Even... Like, in my hometown and shit, I get lost. I don't know where, like, the... I don't know the road names. I know, like, one or two road names that I can actually remember. Other than that... It's like... It's sad how easily I get lost uh, in areas that I live. But yeah, I'm really, I'm really liking this so far. I really like the characters. I like these two. I really like their chemistry. I like their back and forth. I like Delilah a lot. She's really cool. I'm really curious about what's going on with the, the story. Like, of course, like, any time in this game, I'm, like, trying to, to be this, especially since we're, like, doing the whole, like, let's play thing, right? I'm, like, trying to figure out, okay, what's the thing before it actually happens? That way I'm, like, ah, I'm the smartest person in the world. I still wish we would go into the, the, the science area. I really want to see that. We can't radio it in. Okay. Ron, I really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pinned to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took this job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through a bottle of fives instead. Miss you, Dave. Ah. So I think we got a little bit of, uh, a little romance. Our romance isn't the first one that's, uh, happened here, possibly. Because, let's be honest, dude friends don't tend to say things like, Miss you, like maybe millennials do. But especially back in the late 80s, when men were men and women were women and all that. Uh, yeah, not a lot of dudes would be like, hey, miss you, buddy. I really want to see you again. Like, like maybe family. This book looks terrible. Terminal 7. I don't want to throw it away in case I want to read it sometime. Toilet paper. That was the book. Okay. See, that's another thing about the books. Is I wonder, like, if there's something about them. Like, I feel like a lot of stuff is hints that I'm just, like, derping through. Like, I feel like, oh, yeah, like, uh... The books, the codes that are in the the thing before you open them might be like relevant. I don't know. Maybe thinking too much about it. Anyway, let's move on. 
But yeah, I'm really liking this a lot so far. Graphically, the aesthetic works really well, I think. I will say that for whatever reason... Oh, shoot. We're at the pond. Oh, we need to go west. See, I can learn. It takes me forever, but I can learn. But yeah, my, I, I'm sorry if I get quiet, because like in my head, I'm like, okay, so... These people are listening, but why would they be listening to us? And like, why would they go to the point that they would actively like attack me? And like, why would they bother researching this and blah, blah, blah? Is this even... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. Some uh, graphical issues there. Let's pretend that didn't happen. See, like these noises, like obviously now we know we're being, well, we're pretty darn sure we're being followed. Now we're gonna, every time we hear something, it's like, oh, is that uh, suspicious as hell? See, this is maybe why we didn't get an option before. But, well. Oh. Now I'm like paranoid. And I'm naturally paranoid, so now I'm paranoid on top of being paranoid. Go to Cottonwood Creek. Alright, so we're not quite there yet. Fucking damn nature noises. I don't like nature at the best of times. Especially when it could be hiding our enemies. Oh, I think maybe this white stuff is supposed to be like ash or something from the fire. I noticed that earlier back at the uh, our lookout. Is this it? This seems fairly Cottonwood Creeky. Oh, she also says something about the tree itself, I think. Shit. I, uh, did not remember what that tree looks like. Damn it. Come on. Hmm. I'm not sure where we're supposed to go here. I'm trying to find... Oh, here we go. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. Don't, don't say where you're at. See the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you oh. kidding me? I was in a rush. <laughs> Apparently a book is coming out of it. He has the same problems. It's a head! Human head. Ah, new radio. Nice. That's where she was out, by the way, putting this radio in here. Yeah, don't call it in, you dumb shit. I found a new radio! <laughs> oh Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. Yeah, we do. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? We need to find out how they're doing it. Why what the fuck is going on? People uh, are you interrupted us? us. I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? We, we, Our we know this. Are thing. definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you... Are you is any of this real? What? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just... Maybe I'm just losing my mind. What? Like Julia. And maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry! Maybe there was something in the water, or our condo was underneath some power lines, and... And you, Delilah, you're not real. Henry, Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Hmm. Okay. Henry... Sweetie, I am real, and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. Take a second, and then call me back. I'm on your side. Hmm. I don't like how she said that. 
Uh, also, like, yes, I do know the thing, like, hey, where they... uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. Yeah, damn it, I had to put the map away. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. That's interesting. This, it just says, like, this view. Hmm, I can't phone it in or anything. Interesting. Alright, so we're kind of stuck here. I'm trying to, I asked, was, uh, looking, there's two options to get in. Where are we at? We're at Cotton Creek. We either go, I'm kind of lost, obviously. Damn it, don't put my compass away! Map means map, not everything. Oh, I can't call her back? I guess that counted as the callback? Because she's, give me the options, like, call me back whenever, blah. Just an elk. Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know, it was goddamn terrifying, though. Relax. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Ah, oh, fuck. How about you don't do that again? Alright. Well, wait, why would that... I, mean, I guess they could hear me talking, I guess is the thing. Or you're heading the wrong way, by the way. We either need to go north or west. Either way, we can get back there. Yeah, it's interesting we kind of lost that option to radio her back. I really hate the sounds of the stuff. But anyway, yeah, the whole thing about how, like, oh, you know, people who are... Who are... And people always ask, oh, am I crazy? Am I insane? Like, you know, the thing is, like, oh, well, crazy people never ask that question, right? They're just like, nope, it's everybody else who's crazy. I am the normal one. Those are the, the nutty ones. Are we going to, like, hop down this and somebody's going to cut it? See, I don't think they're trying to kill us, though. Like, they intentionally left us alive. Like, he easily, or he or she, could have easily finished us off, but... But they did not. But yeah, so, anyway, I think... Yeah, I was gonna say, there should be another rope hook to the west. Alright, so I sort of know where I am. Again, it only takes me a long time, forevers. Many forevers to kind of get it. I don't want to be out in the open. Also, since we're sprinting, it'd be kind of hard for people to catch us. Like, without making a ton of noise, anyway. Um, there's a critter out here. A raccoon. I can't understand you. Because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. <laughs> Raccoon! I'll grab this fucking raccoon. You're part of the conspiracy! Damn raccoons. Smart little bastards. Alright. I oh, can't get up there. Alright. Oh, oh god. Don't get stuck, please. Alright, just in case, I'm gonna save too. But yeah, I feel like... I feel like there's more to this, and I say that, and it's like a big conspiracy theory thing. Going on with the whole scientist, blah, 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 but I... I kind of think the... Oh, well, you're not crazy because you're questioning it thing. So therefore, you're obviously sane, so throw that idea right away, haha, <laughs> player. That is where the fire was. And another thing that struck me as odd, and I, I kept thinking about it, but I never mentioned it, was that... I hate this area here, because it's so easy for somebody to jump out at you. But it... Like, you never talk about what you did as a job. Right? You said you didn't want to move when uh, 
Julia or Jul like Julia wanted to move for work, but you never actually you never actually said like what it was that you did, like as a job. I don't think. And I, for some reason that sticks out to me. Like I don't know why, but I consider that very weird. So we went north. Yep, and then we... Alright. So we take this down, go north some more, and we should be there. I'm very curious as to what we're going to find. I'm very pleased with this game, though. I know I keep repeating myself at this point. But I'm really liking it a lot so far. See why uh, this was so popular. And again, yes, it's a walking simulator. But that I don't think that's... I think a lot of people do use that derogatorily, if that's a word. But I don't necessarily consider it as such. A lot of times it can be, though. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. I don't know how we're going to explain this. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? Yes. No, screw it. Okay, then. Man, I don't want to do that. There are a lot of holes, but that's not going to be comfortable. Oh. Uh oh, it's this, it's good. It's a tie-in into the new uh, Dead Rising. I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. O okay, I'm I'm sorry. Well, PD station personnel, if you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government-owned equipment is under the purview of Kent Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area, and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Not, not going to call this in? I mean, we're supposedly on the radio that's not being tracked. Oh, wow, they even got a nice-ass little, uh... I like this, it's like, it's gated off on the side, but you still have to jump across. That seems weird to me. Is there, like, a broken... Like, I'm expecting to see, like, where there was a bridge here and it broke? Because why else would you have guardrails on the side, but it's like, oh, you still have to jump across, you could fall and kill yourself, or at least seriously injure you. But hey, we put guardrails on the side, so you can't fall off to the side. That's good, right? Ah, uh, the government. The government. Turn my flashlight off. I don't want to get seen. Oh, we got a blood red sun in the sky. Generator. Monitoring tower. Uh, okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. <sighs> lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Push it down, stomp it out, let you stomp those fires out. With, well, no vigor at all, but you should be more vigorous about this. I almost wonder if, like, the radio isn't here for something else, but, like, some bored scientist or some shit is, oh shit, listening in on us. Just because they can. That would be too easy. Like, that would be very anticlimactic. It's like, oh, ha ha ha, we'll have a good laugh. Oh, I was like, is that a flashlight? Oh, what? You want a radio in the, you want a radio in the raccoon, but not the lightning bug or rain butterfly, whatever the hell that is? Hmm. I guess we're going to get the ladder later. Freeze, motherfuckers. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Damn it. Damn it. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. Huh, like us. 
Yeah, like us. Mmm, peanut butter. Shit, yeah. Uh, Biff! I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. Ah, uh, yeah, soil grid. Huh. Now they're doing something with the soil out here, too. It's all gridded off. Hey, maybe you were right about the lichens. Yeah, like, I, I recognize that... I don't well, there's necessarily nobody here. know It's just tents and equipment, and... Yeah, that's it. Look everywhere. Maybe you can find something that will help us know what's going on. We don't know it's some bad shit. Why would something like this even be out here? Wouldn't it be easier to spy on people in a city? Somewhere you can blend into the background? Yeah, it's also a lot harder to get rid of problems if there are people around. Out here, you can just disappear. Yeah, I think they're reading into things a little bit too much. Thanks for that. How about I stay in my lookout and you do all the hiking around? Uh, no thank you. I do know that my uh, my dad was saying that, and again, I it's been years since he mentioned this, so I could be completely off. But like he said something about how, like because of how much like solid rock was out in Wyoming, like something about you could listen to the vibrations of the rock or something like that, and they could like tell all kinds of crazy shit. So they had government stuff like monitoring that. It was very very I mean, odd. There's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. Uh, you know what? I wish we could have. We wish we would have kept our radio. Because then we could do a test. Like we talk back and forth and see if we could hear each other on something like in here, right? Like we could actually verify that these are the people who are listening to us. I mean, I think it's fairly high chance of that. Yeah, walk around your fucking soil grid, bitch. But, um, I feel like we could verify that. However, I also thought maybe you left it there on purpose because she might use that radio to, to do a test like that, but then somebody answers it, right? Like, somebody answers the radio that I left behind. Or somebody radios her, like, with it, right? Something like that. Hmm. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. That sturdy leather belt looks heavy. All right, we're not ready to do that yet. Don't you do it. I'm busy looking at shit. I'm exploring. Supplies, question mark. Okay, shit. Got another clipboard here that confirms that they're tracking our movements. The log they've got tracks the movement of four subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me, and I suppose you too. What about the other two? Maybe the missing girls? Like, they're still out here and these people are following them? Maybe. It's possible, right? But then why haven't you seen them? I, I don't know. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. Alright, give me a minute. That beeping is really annoying. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's... They get the... Frequencies on there too. MO. I'm not sure what that is. I forget the name of our station. I don't think that's it though. Uh, frequent departure from Two Forks area, which makes sense. Uh, a female, it's probably her. Avoidance behaviors, consult previous data. Unreciprocated desire for copulation, conflict with other males. Disproportionate food intake. Unreciprocated desire for copulation, conflict with other males. So, I mean, this is the... Like, the, I'm guessing these two are the other twos that have been leaving the notes back and forth, maybe? I don't know what this number on the left is. Maybe that's just, like, a, a num numeric identifier. Also, I don't know what these are. The ND, the O, the PE... Disproportionate food intake. It's been monitoring me, apparently, like in real life. God damn it! I wish I'd have picked I that found one up. Now. Monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. 
They're scientists. I'm sure I can kick their ass. They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. Eh, we get bored listening to these people, like, sexed, sex walky, walky talky sex. Salky talky? I don't know. Sexy talky? I don't know. So anyways, we like to check the barometric pressure, pressure once in a while. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. They've got a map with all sorts of paths and areas marked out on it. There are lines Vista. that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? Uh, some of their descriptions seem like uncharitable ways of describing me, yeah. Stop beeping! Oh, God. Yeah, I, I think this thing is responding to something in this pile of crap on the desk. Dig through it. Hmm. Oh. You need, to, you need to put your back to this wall and be looking at the door as you read this shit. Guilt-ridden. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? Since you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Whoa, whoa. Think about it. Worst case scenario... Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? Maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! Look, it's all right. I'm just going to hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm grabbing this stuff because I don't want it to kick us into the next day. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. There's the lines. I want to read those reports. Can I do that here? All right, so Delilah, age 43, program status review. One week, four weeks, six weeks, 10 weeks, 25 weeks, okay? Observational traits, reliable, considering alcoholism. Uh, observant, charismatic, she's that. Selfish, hmm, skewed perception of personal history. Pertinent, observed facts. Never married, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings. Multiple lovers, despite long-term partner. Name Javier. Susceptibility to manipulation. Three. Supervisor sign off. E. G. I'm sure it's one of those doctors whose names I don't remember. Um, oh, is there. I can't read. Where's mine? Damn it. Where's my observation report? Did I drop it? Oh, I did. But I, oh, I picked up the other one. Uh, age 39. We're on 10 week. 10 weeks. Wait, that's 70 days? We're not even. On day, on week 70, are we? I don't know. Anyway, observational traits. Comprehensive explorer keeps to the path. Prone to anger. Passive. Wait, what? Guilty. Forthright and guarded. How is... What? We're both? I'm guessing these things are based on stuff like the way we've answered certain things, the way we've been playing the game. I'm imagining that changes. Subject has fully engaged supervisor. Trust yet to be scientifically proven. All signs point towards full cooperation. Has fully engaged supervisor. I'm assuming that means Delilah in this case. Uh, update. Subjects may be aware of tests. Suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. 
So they know that we know that they know. And now they're gonna know that I know that they know that I know. I think that's right. All right, so I have a feeling we're not gonna make it all the way back before it kicks us into the next day. But I wanna make sure we get everything here because this is obviously uh, important slash interesting. All right, so I'm pretty damn sure we got all this. We can't duck. What does that say? I, you love Wyoming. What? It's supposed to say, I love Wyoming. That's weird. If I had a mug that says, you love my mother. That seems not a bad idea all around. Don't get, want to get bushwhacked by some goddamn scientists. Oh, well, again, anyway. All right. Yeah, I'm really curious what the hell is going on. Like, why would they be monitoring us? And the thing he said about, oh, well, maybe that's what they want us to do. They want us to burn the things to the ground. They're trying to drive us crazy or have us do something crazy. But why would they want to do that? Now, the scientists were afraid of a fire. Like, you know, the possibility of a, a wildfire, right? Because that's why they had them doing that controlled burn. But I don't, that seems extreme. Like, that seems extreme and extremely specific that they're like, okay, let's monitor them and make them go crazy. But see, that's the thing. Like, I feel like they haven't done anything. I mean, I guess you could argue. Oh, shit. What the hell? Oh, shit. Oh, bloody shit. Hello. Um. Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I, mean, I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Yeah. All right, so we will go ahead and stop there. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks again to Asger for your continued support on Patreon. I really appreciate it. Make sure I leave comments, and I'll see you next time.